Okay, so when you first click into our course, um, you're going to land on the course homepage. And um, the first thing you're going to notice every week is a message from me. And um, this is where I set the tone for the week and set expectations um, for what's required of you for that week. And you'll notice that there is an audio version and a text version. And I did this to accommodate those of you who like to hear um, sound or audio along with text to learn better. Um, and so I'm playing around with a Blackboard tool called Blackboard Voice Authoring this semester. Um, one thing to note about this um, play button here is if you, if you click on it and nothing happens, it means you have an issue with Java and you need to give the um, Blackboard Help Desk a call um, and they'll help you update your Java to the latest version so that you can um, hear the audio. But again, all it really is is me reading um, this text almost verbatim um, just to give you an audio version. One other thing I'm going to try this semester with my homepage messages is to archive the old ones. Um, so I'm going to put them in a little folder um, and you'll see that underneath the week's message. And that's at the suggestion of one of my students from last semester who just said it'd be nice to kind of go back and see maybe what we did in the subsequent week. So I'll archive those for you guys. Um, let me quickly just go over um, the left-hand navigation pane or left-hand navigation menu for you. And I'm going to go into some of these in more detail, but I just want to kind of show you some easy ways to navigate our course. So you'll notice the course homepage can, um, you can always return to it by clicking on course homepage. So that's the page we're on. Um, course information is where you're going to find um, all sorts of information pertaining to the syllabus, schedule, um, a course map, an etiquette statement, and computer use policy. And I'm going to kind of go through some of that in a little bit more detail in, um, in uh, the subsequent videos. Um, the instructor information section is just where you can find um, more detailed information about me, um, really some of my research interests um, and publications, if you're interested in that, are listed here. Um, and also my Twitter feed is um, embedded here in Blackboard and I, I do tend to tweet quite a lot during the semester um, and usually it's it's just resources related to educational technology so um, those will be listed here. If you do um, want to start conversations within the class we can use the um, Twitter hashtag EDTC554 and I'll try to remember to use that hashtag if it's something specific um, to our course. Back over here on the left hand side when you click on weekly modules this is going to be um, where you see um, a module for whatever week we're in. So since we're only in week one, you only see week one. But um, when, we, when week two gets here, you'll start seeing that. So we're going to kind of build. Um, you'll, these will start to build and progress um, as we go through the semester. But these modules have everything that you need um, for the week. So you'll see this particular module for week one has an overview of our goals and objectives, it has um, course video introduction, it has um, uh, video links um, for um, the videos that you're watching right now, um, uh, there's a profile that you're going to fill out, one's anonymous and one's not, um, but this is going to help me get to know you a little bit better as an online learner. Um, so there's there there are two surveys there. Then you have your introduce yourself discussion, and you can access that from here. And then finally, a check your understanding quiz. Um, one thing to note when you're in this module um, and you click on say the discussion, um, it's going to take you out of the module. And this is one of those design features in Blackboard that I'm just not that happy with because basically now you're outside of the module and you have to click back to weekly modules and back to week one to get back to where you were. Um, but that's just the nature of, of the Blackboard learning management system right now. Um, same thing with the quiz. Once you click to launch, it's going to take you outside of the module and you'll have to remember to come back over here to weekly modules to get back to it. But the purpose of a module really is to house everything you need for the week so that you don't have to worry about things kind of being hidden and embedded in places that you can't get to them. Everything that is required of you for a week will be in this week one folder. Alright, continuing on down, um, you can click on discussions 
And this is where um, you can also get to the discussion uh, requirement for, um, for this week. But you'll also see there's a virtual hallway. Um, and this is where you can post questions that are um, general and um, sort of nonspecific where you know another student may be able to answer it. And what I've found is when students post here, they typically get an answer faster than I can even give one. Um, so it's a good place to um, just throw questions out um, and see if you get a response. Um, if, if, I don't, if I see that no one's responding to you, I will respond um, and try to answer your question. Um, and then you'll see an interact with the experts discussion thread. That's going to be later on in the semester, but that's where we'll have actual online, veteran online um, teachers that you'll get to pose questions to and, um, and hear their insights into um, online teaching. Um, next, you see the assessments um, option, and that's going to be where your check, the, check your understanding quizzes are compiled. Again, uh, your discussions and your quizzes are still always going to be in the week one module, so you don't have to worry about finding it over here, but it's also over here if you, if you want to click to go straight to it. Um, I'm not going to talk about class wiki yet because I don't want it to completely overwhelm um, you guys but that's something that you're going to be using every other week and I'm going to go into it a little bit more detail um, next week for you. Um, the mail tool is where you can send me mail messages and it's pretty simple and intuitive. Um, you can just create a message and choose me or any of your fellow students on the list and it is internal to the course so we can only send to one another and not outside of Blackboard. Um, the My Grades section is where you can check your grades. I have a resources link with all sorts of ed tech um, resources and then of course um, Blackboard help in case you need any help with Blackboard. So that's the down and dirty of the course homepage and the left-hand navigation. I'm going to um, go into a little bit more detail about some of these um, sections of our course um, in the videos to come.